everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are building on my new island today. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. If you didn't watch my last video, we bid farewell to Toucan. I explain why in that video, so I'm not gonna go back through that again. But we are on my new island today, which I have decided to name Glimmer. I love the name, it sounds so magical, and I think it's perfect for the theme I'm going for, which is basically a magical fairy kid core island. I wanted to combine the two together because I just it would be so pretty and such a fun idea. Now if the name Glimmer does sound familiar to you, I've actually got the idea from a Spyro 2 level and I love that game, it's one of my favourite games ever. So yeah, I love the name too and I thought it was perfect for my, my magical fun island. So as always, to start off our new island adventure, we are building the entrance today. Now I kind of wanted to go for a really magical looking entrance, you know, fairy core inspired, but obviously make it kid core and I feel like that's that's what I managed to do and you'll find out by the end of the video or if you've seen my picture on Instagram you've seen what it looks like but yeah I'm so excited to get stuck into this theme. Now first of all I wanted to do an angled bridge moment and now the best way I do angled bridges is by doing this little four squares each side at an angle thing. I don't know if that would help anyone else but it really helps me to know the size I need and where I actually want to place the bridge. I find it much easier doing it like this like you just do this and then cut the corners off and there you go you have the perfect size perfect shape as long as you do four squares you can't go wrong. Hopefully that helps someone else, that's why I've left this bit in. Because normally I would just pre-do this, but I know a lot of people struggle sometimes with terraforming and putting angle bridges in, so I thought I'd leave this bit in, and hopefully what helps me helps somebody else too. I don't normally leave the terraforming in my videos, but I thought I would for this one to show, you know, how I do things. I might leave it in some of the future videos as well, if I feel like it's interesting. I mean like, here I'm doing some waterscaping obviously, and I am going to add another bridge to this other side. I don't want them to to be even because it's just you know a choice I made I didn't want them to look symmetrical. Over the other side of the river I will be building a mountain here. I'm not going to do the full mountain in this video we're probably just going to do like the bottom layer. Um yeah I just want to put a mountain here I'm going to make it look magical and colourful so that should feel like a kid core fairy core thing. I'm probably just going to call it fairy mountain if I'm honest. I made one a really really long time ago before I started doing YouTube and I never ever finished that island it was just kind of random builds and I did like a magical mountain on that you might see it on my Instagram it was quite a while ago if I can find the picture I'll put it up but yeah I really loved how that looked so that's kind of what I want to recreate but at the entrance here and I think it would look really nice if it comes out the same way as what I did it before so hopefully fingers crossed I always like to cut off my edges of my terraforming. I don't really like the sharp edge. I think it's great for like city cool islands because you tend to put stuff in front of it, so that's okay. But when I'm trying to go for a more natural fairy core type island, I definitely want to cut those corners off. And here again, I'm doing my trick for my angle bridge. Four squares each side at an angle, a couple of spaces between each, and then just you know, chopping it away so the water's underneath. Definitely works every single time for me. So yeah, if you're struggling, try it out. Let me know if it works for you too. Ignore my massive pile of materials over there. I put them over there, it just makes it so much easier and quicker for me to grab if I need to quickly make something. But now let's magically travel through time and both those bridges are built so we can build around them now. I want to join the path together with the bridge just so it looks a bit nicer. I'm also going to do the same the other side and use this beautiful path that I've been using. I wanted to go for a dirt path but I found one that had these little magical looking sparkles and flowers around it so it was definitely perfect. By the way, all the codes that I use in this video will be listed in the description down below probably within the next few days so keep an eye out or if this video has already been out for a few days you'll know they'll already be there but I haven't actually filled all my code spots yet in my custom designs so yeah well I go along with my builds on this island I'm sure I will eventually fill it up full 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 so I will keep updated in the description. I placed the wrong size tree here so that's why I changed it over. I'm gonna actually try and remember to use stunted trees on this island. If you're not too familiar with what stunted trees are it's basically when you plant your tree and it grows you can choose which sort of size you want it just by placing a 
simple bit of fruit behind it. So I will show you an example in a second because I do use a stunted tree in this build. But of course the standees are back. If you've been following my channel for a very long time, you'll know how I feel about the standee items on a Kiko Island. I love all the standees. There is four different varieties. We have the tree, mountain, grass and hedge. And I love them all. They're just so cute and amazing and they give kind of this cartoony vibe to an island I feel and I just love it. I think they're so pretty. I'm going to keep mine customised in this normal spring colour just because I feel like it's the perfect colour for my island. Now I've used the beautiful plaza bench and I've customised in the cute colours Reese and Cyrus. This mushroom item is one of the Mario mushroom items. You can get this just from you know the nook shop so look in there I believe it comes under special items category I can't remember but it should be available for everyone you can customize it into three different colors pink yellow and I think the other one is green so I'll definitely be using these in multiple spots around my island because it's just so adorable I'll also be using the mush furniture because it's just so pretty and I'm using a lot of the Celeste items as you can already see as well and here's that stunted tree I was talking about see it's a bit smaller than the normal trees and I've just basically placed a fruit tree behind it which is just you know just plant the fruit behind it and it will stay at that size now here I'm using the in-game dirt path I've made little circles and we're placing custom codes on top of these circles just to make it look really fun and colorful and add more color to this area I'm gonna be doing this in a few spots around my island I feel like it's such a staple kid core design you know to have the in-game path and to pop different codes on top it just looks really fun and you know I really like it and oh my gosh, can we just appreciate Cleo walking around with her sandwich? This is why she's staying on my island. She's so adorably cute. I love her. An item that I'm really excited to use on this island is the glowing moss. I think it's going to make this island feel so magical. And I love the fact that when you walk through it, it just has this like little sparkle come off it. Like you can't get more magical than that, right? Let's be honest. I love Butch's singing in the background. It's so adorable. He's not staying on my island though, unfortunately. Now I've just placed some grass standees, of course, and we're using them a lot around my island. Like I said, they just really help with a Kiko Island. I definitely recommend using the standee items if you're doing a Kiko kind of island. And now I'm using more of those glowing weeds because they're so pretty. And I've got this lovely plank code that I used on a previous Kiko Island that I'm using on this island as well. It's so stunning. I love how vibrant and colorful it looks. It's just, just perfect. I love all the codes that I've chosen so far. A lot of them are actually made by Crystal Cat over on Twitter. So definitely go and check out their account. They are such an amazing creator of making codes. I'm obsessed with all their codes. <laughs> That's where that cute little stone flower come from. Crystal Cat is just beautiful. Now we're gonna start decorating over here by the fairy mountain. So the idea for this area is to make it look very natural, but also add lots of color. So to do that, I'm using the glowing moss stool. I'm gonna use Use a few mush items and like Nova items and star clocks and things like that and then basically all I'm gonna do is pop some trees down alternate some bushes and colorful flowers and I feel like it will look very magical and perfect for my fairy mountain I have to admit it feels really nice to be making a kid court island again I feel like I missed it I haven't done one in such a long time I think the last one I did was my Halloween kid court island so yeah, it feels great to be back during Kid Core. Now you may notice me placing down some beautiful flower code. That's just to pop under the item so it doesn't look so plain. I want this island to be full of lots and lots of colour and every inch of it filled like all my islands normally are. So that's why I put that down. Now we're just placing some more flowers and weeds and bushes. Like I said, I'm going to fill this area up and I've got one of those stunted trees as you can see. So I've just buried a piece of fruit so it stays that height. Now you might be wondering what I was doing there but I kept picking up the same glowing mask. I wanted a different one and if you keep picking it up and placing it down it changes each time most of the time so I was being fussy and picky basically. <laughs> so we're just placing a mush lamp down and then a vine bench. It's such a cute item. I really love the vine furniture. I've customized it all in light green, what I have of it so far. And I think it looks really cool and fun and it adds kind of like a fairy tale vibe to everything, especially the giant vine that I used just to the left here. Definitely looks magical in my eyes. Now I'm just dropping some star frags all over the floor. They just look so cute and adorable and have like a magic vibe to them anyway. And of course I placed a bunch of leaf paths because this is me. <laughs> So we have finished the build everyone and I just want to show you my map quickly so you know my starting villages. So we have me and then my two starters were Teddy and Sylvia. My autofills were Bo, Sprinkle and Nan. 
and then Cleo and Megan are staying permanently. They are my permanent villagers. We have Naomi, Butch and O'Hare who also auto filled and they're all going. So like I said, the only ones staying are Megan and Cleo because they are perfect for my fairy magical kid core island. But now let's have a little walkthrough of the area we built today. Oh, and the Animal Crossing gods blessed me with a beautiful yellow airport, so I'm so happy with that. But here is the entrance. I really love how it came out. It's so colourful. It looks so lovely at this time of day, half five. So that's definitely one thing to note in my mind when I go to set my DA, which is a long way off because we've just started. But here we have the lovely star fragments on the floor. Here's Nan and Cleo. Cleo is still enjoying her sandwich. That must be a really good sandwich. Or she just had multiple sandwiches. I can't wait to finish off Fairy Mountain. I feel like the view is going to be so perfect in the background. Well, I hope so anyway. And I hope I'm able to integrate it into the rest of the building that I want to do around resident services. But we shall see in my next video, hopefully. So yeah, that was my first ever build on my magical Kid Core Island and it was the entrance and I'm really happy with how it came out. I love the colours and I feel like this is going to be a super fun island for me to get stuff right into. Now like I said, if you don't know what happened to Toucan, you can find out in my previous video so go check that out. Also I have a Discord now so yeah, join, come join and say hi. Now if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Also comment down below, even if it's just hello, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already come and join the Jellybean family. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye!